Let's get out of here. What are you talking about, Mother? I'm waiting for Ethan. I believe something went wrong. Ethan! It's not what you think. I swear to God. How could you do this? What the hell is going on here? Do you really need to ask? I mean, Ethan can't stay away from me no matter how hard he tries because he loves me. Teresa, stop. What, Ethan? Stop telling the truth. You can't deny that you just enjoyed that. You liar! Look, you forced him into this. Look, Ethan is over you, and you can't stand it. So you are so desperate that you are chasing him all around town, waiting to thrust your tongue down his throat at the first opportunity. Did she kiss you or did you kiss her? Gwen, don't even ask. She is a whore and a tramp. And she was lying in wait for him so she could accost him like some spider in a web. Rebecca, come yeah, on. I, I hate spiders. I think they should all be stepped Mother, on and grounded. You know what? That's actually a good idea. We all should stop here. Especially considering the fact that you're out on bail for trying to murder me. You know, Glenn, more threats against me are to make things look worse for you in court, if that's possible. What are you facing, like 30 to 40 years in prison? Teresa, shut up. I mean, for once in your life, you shut up and you listen. Now, unlike you, I took Ethan's plea to let our bygones be bygones to heart because this unending feud has gone on long enough. And there is no reason why we can't bury the hatchet and move on with our respective lives starting right now. But it's up to you. So you see Ethan and me kissing. And now you want to become friends. No, sweetheart. No one said anything about becoming friends. I would like to call a truce, a permanent truce. Give up on Ethan and let you two be. Yes. That and dropping the charges against me, that is all you have to do to just stop this madness right now. No. What did you just say? I said no, Gwen. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> 